Hi everyone, this is Venkatesh from Naresha Technologies. In this video, let us have small discussion on one interface introduced by Java 8 version known as Predicate. So, this Predicate is an interface available from java.util.function. Already we know java.util is a package, this one utility package. We had one sub package known as function. Within this sub package, we had a predicate. Within this sub function, we had a predicate. So, let me show this Java p Java dot util dot predicate function dot to predicate. And this predicate is an functional interface. What is the meaning of functional interface now? Functional interface means having one single abstract method but can have any number of concrete methods. Already we know in Java 8 version, we can have static concrete method within the interface, default concrete method within the interface. By Java 9 version, we can have private concrete method within the interface. But whenever if you want to say the interface is a functional interface, the functional interface can have only one abstract method but can have any number of concrete methods. In the last few videos we have been discussed. And here I am taking the support of one predicate interface coming from java.util.function sub, sub package and this is having one, one abstract method that is test. Sir, what we are going to do the, with this predicate? By using predicate, we can perform conditional operations by using predicate we can perform conditional operations on collection object. Sir, what is the meaning of this collection object? Generally in core or in core Java, we say that user defined class object, string object, wrapper class object, array object, collection object, map object, enum object. So, whenever if we speak about your collection object now, collection is an interface actually. Collection is an interface. Then why you are calling it as collection object? This collection interface extended into three major sub interfaces set, list and queue. And this set is implemented into nothing but implemented into three classes hash set, linked hash set and tree set. And this list is implemented into vector, array list and link list. And the vector internally extended into your stack and the queue internally implemented into one priority queue but extended into DQ. The DQ implemented into array DQ and link list. It is a hierarchy of your collection. In a few videos, you can find that hierarchy also. And whatever the object we create for the implementation class of your collection, we are calling it as collection object. So, whenever you want to perform some conditional operation on this collection object, we take the support of predicate. Moreover, whenever I say it is a functional interface, whenever I say functional interface, this interface is going to hold your lambda expression. So, predicate also internally using lambda expression. The method which is written without name, we are calling it as lambda expression. So, let me take one small example and show it how to use this predicate on your collection object. Always we take the repeated one employee. In this I am putting some public string employee id, employee name. EMP designation and some basic salary. I used to use repeatedly the basic salary. Like this, I took, I took some fields here name, ID, name, designation, age, basic salary. Now, I am using one constructor to load the data. Employee ID this dot employee name, this dot 
EMP designation this dot H is equal to some H this dot basic salary is equal to basic salary. Like this I am using one constructor and uh, binding the data into instance variables. I took one user defined class having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fields. I am using constructor to initialize this instance variables. Whenever I want to display that data, I will take the support of two string method, which is the overriding method of your Java dot lang dot object class. By using the two string method, we can display this instance variables. Now, I will go for this main class. Here I am importing the package import java dot util dot star import java dot function dot star everybody knows dot star sub packages will not come if you star now. Now I imported this uh, function related classes and interfaces and uh, util related classes and interfaces here. Now, <coughs> I am taking one array list, I am going to bind your employee al is equal to new array list employee like this using this al dot add I am going to mind new employee some name first you have to bind id they are all strings designation some age It is a string now. Some basic salary like this. I am binding one object. I am creating al dot add new employee. I am creating one object and adding to array list. The theory here. Like this, you can add any number of records. Imagine I am adding some, some records are added here. So, some records are here. <coughs> Actually, the records should come from database. In the next coming video, when I am working with by predicate using map and I will link the database and show it. But in this, I am showing the records. <coughs> now, whenever I want to display this data normally, so system dot out dot println display from array list object because they are all binded into array list object only into array list object. So, I will use al dot for each already we know this for each method also introduced by java 8 version working on lambda so i'll take one for displaying purpose i'm taking some x here here if i say system dot out dot print ln some x i'm binding the data and i'm displaying it out here predicate not there it's a normal data it's a normal data key now, this is the data came whatever the coming from array list. Here, I want to perform some conditional operation. Condition is, I want to display 
the details of employee who are having the ages greater than 30. So, who should come now? NIT.V and this is uh, RR.V, ZZZ and some NIT dot like this. These records has to come, remaining must not come. I am performing one conditional operation on this uh, records. Whenever I want to perform some conditional operation on this record, I will take the support of predicate. I am using predicate. Here predicate you must say on which the predicate is performing on what type of objects employee some p1 is equal to some p this is the predicate. So, this is the way of declaring your predicate p dot age greater than or equal this is a conditional statement. If you see the syntax of predicate now this is test here one test is there this test is the method the return type is boolean this method is uh, not having a body because abstract. So, whatever the body you declared here like this this is acting as a body for test. So, the return type of that is nothing but boolean. So, using this I am displaying display emp data where age greater than or equal to 30. Here I am using for each only, here I am using for each only, but this for each method will take that object out, one object came out loaded onto x now. This one I am sending on to if p1 dot test of x, if p1 dot test of x, if it is true, then we are printing system dot out dot print ln x. If you see this, these are all normal records here the records who are having ages greater than 30 it came. I performed one condition on this data now. Whenever I want to perform some conditional operation on this data, I took the support of predicate. So, what is predicate now? One functional interface introduced by Java 8 version available from java.util.function package. Functional interface means depending upon your lambda expression. Sir, what has been happened in this code? I took one predicate. So, the execution starts from here now al dot for each of x for each is a method introduced by java 8 version again working on lambda wherever the lambda I am processing this x x means the object what is available on array list first object with full details loaded on to this x. Now, this x I am passing as parameter to test test is what now one abstract method belongs to here. But uh, if I want to call this test, I must call by predicate now. See there, I am calling P1. Where is this P1 now? P1 is here, predicate name. So, P1 dot test, I am passing this object. Whenever I pass this object only, now you have to get the answer now because test is what now? Boolean. I have to get the answer. So, here what happens now? Whenever the object I took from the array list object, the user defined employee object I took from error list object passed as parameter to test return type of test is boolean, but whenever it has to return it and it has to check it see that this x loaded onto this p again lambda here p dot h the object is coming now p dot h if it is greater than or equal to 30 return type is true whenever the answer comes true the x is displayed. So, for every time it checks like this the first object will come on to x, x passed as test. The test will use p dot h 34 greater than or equal to 30, true means display the record. Second one do not display, second one sorry display, display no need, no need display. Like this the test method is working. 
but the test method is uh, available from where now available from predicate test is what now one abstract method but where is the body body written in the form of lambda in your predicate syntax we written in the form of lambda this is the predicate so finally the flow is nothing but whatever the objects available in the array list what objects employee user defined class employee objects are available the object will come one by one onto x i am passing as parameter to test test method use this lambda expression and check the condition if it is true displayed if not discarded so whenever you want to perform some conditional operation on your objects collect uh, conditional operation on your collection object we take the support of predicate one functional interface available from java.util.function this program is small syntax to introduce you the predicate the next coming video i will introduce by predicate working on map in the second session i will connect my database and dump the data coming from the database thank you watch me on more videos in narasha technologies mm -hmm.